Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Airbus unveils City Airbus for UAM, and Delan Sports Aviation Showcase on Target, and Texas Air Race 1 postponed until next year. Happy Wednesday, thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Cape. Check this out, Airbus unveils City Airbus for UAM. Airbus has announced plans for a new City Airbus at the company's first Airbus Summit on pioneering sustainable aerospace as the emerging urban air mobility market begins to firm up. Ushering in the next generation of City Airbus, the fully electric vehicle is equipped with fixed wings, a V-shaped tail, and eight electrically powered propellers as part of its uniquely designed distributed propulsion system. It is designed to carry up to four passengers. We are on the quest to co-create an entirely new market that sustainably integrates urban air mobility into the cities while addressing environmental and social concerns. Airbus is convinced that the real challenges are as much about urban air integration, public acceptance, and automated air traffic management as about vehicle technology and business models. We build on all of the capabilities to deliver a safe, sustainable, and fully integrated service to society, said Bruna Evan, Airbus helicopter CEO. City Airbus is being developed to fly with a 80 kilometer range and to reach a cruise speed of 120 kilometers. Sound levels are a key factor for an urban mission, offering City Airbus sound levels below 65 dBA during flyover and below 70 dBA during landing. It is optimized for hover and cruise efficiency while not requiring moving surfaces or tilting parts during transition. After the break, FAA invites public comment for a draft environmental review. I'll tell you for which company after these messages. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. FAA invites public comment for a draft environmental review for SpaceX program. The FAA invites the public to provide its input on the draft environmental review for the proposed SpaceX Starship Super Heavy program in Boca Chica, Texas. The draft programmatic environmental assessment investigates the potential environmental impacts of SpaceX's initial mission profile for the program, including launch and reentry. It also reviews debris recovery and integration tower and other launch-related construction and local road closures in Boca Chica, among other issues. A public hearing is planned virtually on October 6th and 7th. Dyer reveals three new innovation centers. Dyer reveals three new innovation centers that have been designed to accelerate innovation and development within the group. Creativity and efficiency will be promoted in the new facilities and will be operational in 2022. Login, the Toulouse-based innovation acceleration platform's purpose is to improve and transform the industrial logistics industry, which plays an essential role in the company's competitiveness by embracing an open and collaborative approach to innovation. Canada's cargo jet pilots join ALPA. 
The Canada Industrial Relations Board has certified Alpa as a representative of more than 300 pilots at Cargo Jet. The pilots voted an overwhelming yes at 93% for Alpa representation. Alpa has recently jumped into action on behalf of 23 Cargo Jet pilots who were unlawfully terminated just days after the CIRB vote results were announced. Alpa declared that cargo jet management violated several sections of the Canada Labor Code by unreasonably terminating nearly two dozen probationary pilots while continuing to hire additional pilots. The American Institute for Aeronautics and Astronautics says the aerospace industry outlook is positive. The American Institute for Aeronautics and Astronautics looked toward the future and asked its members and the aerospace community to gauge overall sentiment and industry outlook. The first report is available now and the full report will be released the week of the 27th. The report reveals perspective of those who are driving the profession forward. The data spans the three AIAA domains, aeronautics, aerospace, research and development, and space. Well, that does it for today's trip around the past. Now, let's return to the rest of the news. The Land Sport Aviation Showcase on target for November 11th until the 13th. The sports aviation world is ready to close out 2021 on an upward note after successfully completing events that took place at Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo in Lakeland and the EAA Air Venture Fly-In in Oshkosh just weeks ago. Both events boosted huge crowds and tremendous feedback from both exhibitors as well as attendees. We're working tirelessly to provide a record event so that we can finish up 2021 with a win and to pave a solid path for a better future for the sport aviation world as we make our way to 2022. A much better times, noted DeLand Sport Aviation Administrator Jaina Phillip. Do not hesitate to mark your calendars for this year's last great sport aviation event because once... This event is done, that's it, until Sun and Fun 2022. The 2021 DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase is poised for great things from November 11th until the 13th, the three-day event that has a clear focus on recreational and sport aviation. Held at the DeLand Municipal Airport in DeLand, Florida, the weather in early November is perfect for a fun Florida flying-centric weekend. This year, the event adds an opening day tribute to veterans with complimentary admission for all vets on Veterans Day on November 11th. After these messages, another race is postponed until next year. I'll tell you which one after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. Another race is postponed due to the pandemic. 
Air Race One and its principal partners have announced the San Angelo, Texas race that was supposed to take place at the end of October has been postponed until next year. The difficult decision has been made following discussions between the Lions Club San Angelo, the San Angelo Convention and Visitors Bureau, and the City of San Angelo over the viability of the event due to be held at Mathis Field, San Angelo Regional Airport on Halloween weekend. The unprecedented circumstances created by the global pandemic over the last 18 months have delivered ongoing challenges and logistical repercussions. Also, travel restrictions have resulted in a significant disruption to the pre-event timeline. This combined with the upturn in COVID-19 positivity rates in the region over recent months and the subsequent concerns regarding the health and safety of everyone involved in the event has led Air Race One and its partners to collaboratively defer the San Angelo meeting. A new date to Air Race One at San Angelo will be announced in due course, with ticket holders automatically eligible for entry at the rescheduled events. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.